In our small house on a quiet suburban street, we make feature films. Are you sure it'll be all right? Perfectly all right. We don't have a circle of filmmaker friends. Our lifestyle is very non-artistic, and I've often been asked how I can work in such isolation. I answer that the process is a lot like writing a book. I face a blank page every morning, and it is my job to fill it up. I work just for the process, and I try not to worry about whether someone else would approve or not. Often I think about the audience, but I'm not seeking affirmation. The brush you would, you would use can't be flat colors anymore. It has to show streaks somehow. All right. And I know how much you, you hate that. Sandra's but. approval is a different kind of approval. We're creating the film together. And you can attach paper to a brush and it'll remember it. If oh. you save the brush, it'll save it with the paper. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So, that's about it. Get busy. Oh. <laughs> this project, my dog Tulip, had been in my thoughts for a long time. The original book is one that is very close to my heart in its style of writing and thinking. It is about much more than just a dog. J.R. Ackerley wrote the book shortly after World War II. It is a strong condemnation of post-war British society and British middle-class life. Go on, sod off! Bugger off him! Get back to your slums! You're not a class! Oh, damn them! Blast the dogs! Ackerley once said that the reason the British love their dogs is because they don't know how to love each other. I recognize that sentiment within myself. <laughs>